Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 50 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about D series third count. We can see we have the third count R1, R2 capacitor C and uh, battery epsilon EMF is epsilon, right? Determine the time constant for charging the capacitor in third counts. This is a little bit difficult, right? Because this is not typical RC third count. So how can we solve it? We get the hint. Use Kirchhoff's rules, right? So we can add this point at A and this point at B. So the current is I1, I2, I3. Now let's see how we do that. First of all, we look at the point A. We see the current is conserved, right? So I1 equal to I2 plus I3. So we write it there. And then we look at the first loop, this one. So the battery brings the uh, increase the voltages. So we have epsilon, and then the current goes through resistor. Voltage decreases. So minus I one times R one. The current goes through resistor R two. So the voltage decreases. I two times R two equal to zero. So we write it there, and then we look at this loop, right? And then we can see. And for this loop, the capacitors go through the capacitors. So voltage drops as the Q divided by C. Q divided by C for capacitor is voltage V, right? And then you can see this loop direction and I2 is in opposite direction. So plus I2 times R2 equal to zero. Now it looks, we need to determine the time constant. Looks like we must write the function, the Q changes with time. Right. So now how the charge for Q changes with time? This is the current I3. So we have I3 equal to dQ over dt. Agree? Yes. Now we can simplify it. We input the T1, replace T1 as T2 plus, plus the T3, uh, replace I1 as I2 plus I3. So there, right? So this function looks like this one. And then from this one, we can uh, convert it to get this I2 equal to Q divided by C times R, right? And this uh, function, you can see, we can reorganize it. It looks like this one and input I2 inside there and input I3 inside there. So now we get a function. You can see in this function, the variable is Q and the T, right? It's a derivation function for charge with time t. And the rest quantities is given. Can we determine the time constant? Yes, we can solve this equation, right? Get the q as a function for the time t. And uh, we organize it, we find this term just perfect to us what is the constant time there. For this, how to solve this derivation function? This part, you can check the mathematic handbook and then you can get it there. Now this part, we get the constant time top. This one, what is the maximum charge on the capacitor? So we look at this function. This is the charge changes with time. So maximum is just this term. Do you agree? When the t equal to zero, so this term becomes one. So the maximum just this term. Thank you.